Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another Gunpla review and as you can tell from the color of that box back there, this is another premium Bandai release. Specifically, an add-on kit for the High Grade Gundam Gemini's Unit 1. As for what we're going to be taking a look at today, this is the High Grade After Colony Assault Booster and High Mobility Unit for that particular Gemini's. And believe it or not, this is a kit from New Mobile Report Gundam Wing. Specifically, the offshoot manga, which is Gundam Wing Jewel Story G-Unit. As usual, when it comes to a premium Bandai release, these can be a little hard to get, especially sometime after their release. So, if you're like me, you want one of these, you can get it exactly where I did, which was through Buy-E. I'll throw a link down there in the description, as well as a link to a video on how I shop through Buy-E to save a little bit of cash. Anyway, let's get right into the review. So getting right on into it, and there is everything that comes in the box. On the left we've got the high mobility unit, and on the right we've got the assault unit. They're quite similar in their own ways, but at the same time, a little bit different. I will however mention that you do not get a Gemini Gundam with this, you do have to provide your own, sold separately. And I'll also mention there is quite a few leftover parts on the runner in here. So this runner right here, which is WA, there are two of this included in here, so a lot of the parts that we use on the assault booster over here are duplicated on this, so you do get a bunch of extra parts for playing around with, making some customs, etc. So that is always cool. So on the left here we've got the high mobility unit, this is in a mix of purplish grey plastic, grey plastic, yellow and red, looking awesome. And over on the right then we've got the assault unit, which is in a standard Gunpla grey plastic with some white and some yellow. These particular lower leg sections right here and right here, these are identical besides the colour. The only things that are different are the backpack and the shoulders. I will mention though that this kit comes with one hell of a ton of stickers. I'm not going to use these because this would take forever. I'm sure they won't look all that great, so the colour accuracy here is not the greatest, so not very premium right here. So anyway, we're going to start right into it with the assault unit here, just basically following the instruction manual. So in order to set the high grade Gemini's right here up for using this assault unit, first off we need to remove any of the accessories and then pop off these blue, white and yellow segments from the shoulders. The shoulder thrusters are a little bit difficult to attach I find, so I do recommend taking the arms off in advance before popping these off, it makes it a whole lot easier. As for the backpack, I will mention the backpack adapter holes here are a little bit more wide set than what we normally see, so I don't think these are compatible with anything but this kit. Attaching the leg armor on is simple, you just attach on one side, then the other side, and then just pin them together with this back thruster. So anyway, there's a full 360 spin of what the high grade Geminis will look like with the assault booster on, and this looks pretty cool, and has already given it a bit of a wing vibe. This has gone from a fairly non-wing looking Gundam to something that kind of resembles Wing Zero with those wings, especially the Proto Zero. I have to admit, I love this, the thrusters on the back of the legs matching up with those thrusters around back, but my favourite aspect has to be those huge flared out shoulders with the thrusters built in. This thing looks like it can go fast. I guess it's called Assault Booster for a reason. As for the new moving parts in here, we've got a couple of moving sections up on the shoulder. This is just a fairly simple tilt in and out like so, but it still adds a little bit extra to the posing potential here. These thruster segments on the back, these can move all the way up to that point right there like so, and then all the way down to the bottom like that. This second point of articulation we have in here is a ball joint up top here, so that means this can do pretty much everything a ball joint can do, which is rotation and some tilt. So basically you can make it so these thrusters can point all the way back like this, or point down like so, which gives a lot of cool posing potential to these. Definitely very awesome and very expressive. The thrusters on the back of the legs, these don't have any moving parts, but they do look quite cool. I will mention these are panel lined a bit to put a bit of shadow in on the yellow sections there, but besides that, this is what they look like out of the box. So now moving on to the next unit in this box, and that of course is the high mobility unit. The colour of this particular set of accessories definitely makes it quite obvious that this is the high grade answer to the Master Grade F90. As in, it's pretty much all the same tones of and quality of plastic that we saw in that premium Bandai Master Grade kit. 
To me, the stickers in here are definitely a letdown because the plastic is top quality. Some of these made 100% for premium Bandai kits almost use a different type of plastic entirely. It's ridiculously soft, easy to clean up, and barely marks at all. Which I'll mention is great because the knob placement on this particular kit isn't the greatest, it's very old school on the surface of a lot of parts. But because the quality is so good, even though I just snipped this off the runner, you can barely see them even though they are there, and that is with zero cleanup. Anyway, let's get this attached. So anyway, there's that full 360 spin of the high mobility unit. This looks fantastic. I love that lavender gray that Premium Bandai has been using with these particular kits. And there's just so much awesome detail on here, especially the shoulders. We've got big turbine looking engines with some nice part separation. And compared to the other unit, which did look a little bit on the plane side, this looks killer. Those are some massive shoulders right there. Those shoulders look great. The part separation on these, all the individual little parts, make them look ridiculously detailed. Once again, I did panel line the yellow just to bring out some of that detail, but otherwise, this is what it looks like out of the box. We've also got those turbine looking sections down on the bottom so they didn't cut any corners with this. And these also have a little bit of a pivot so they can move in like so ever so slightly. So that is pretty cool. Around back there is a whole lot going on compared to what we would have seen with the assault booster. For example, this section here can pivot down and up like so. These are ball jointed down bottom here and have a second rotating joint up top. So these can stretch out quite far. Definitely pretty awesome. So you can move these up like so in a extremely wing style kind of way. And on the inner segment of the wings, we also have removable weapons. Pop out like so, attach into the hand. And that right there is a bit of an example of what they look like. So they are a little bit on the plane side. And these little segments here, these little bit of fin segments, those are meant to be in this particular shade of yellow, so they are not color accurate out of the box. Also, personally, I've never read G Unit, so I assume these can be used from up here on the shoulder gun cannon style. But again, that is just a total assumption, but it would make sense. So if that was not enough already, well, you can also take the parts that we used with the last form, then use these little adapters to pretty much combine both forms into one. Sadly though, we do have to lose these shoulders, which are my favorite aspect of any form we've taken a look at yet. That's a bit of a disappointment, but we do get to make them into shoes. So off with this red segment, attach in that adapter, slot that red segment back in upside down, and there we go. We've got a big old foot. Next up then we pop off that backpack. It then attaches into the bottom of the other backpack. They both then attach in together. Stick on the assault booster's shoulders. They were the first pair. Then lastly on with those new shoes. So heel first and then they slot in just like that. Finally then we're just gonna grab the accessories that came with the Geminis itself, which of course is the beam rifle and the shield. So my first thought when I saw those big old feet was, can this thing stand up with them? And it can, it has been quite well designed in that regard. However, if you don't like a lot of big old pieces sticking out all over the place, this might not be your cup of tea. It is a very busy and kind of odd design. Both units on their own were quite nice, but this is a whole lot of a lot going on. Once again, if you like this sort of thing, awesome. Anyway, that right there is it for the review, and this pack has a whole lot going on in here. I really do like it. Just like we've seen with the Master Grade A to Z project for the Gundam F90, this is something similar. It's a bunch of optional parts for a premium Bandai exclusive Gundam. This is very nice, and I do love the high mobility unit. The color separation is fantastic, even though it still could do with a lot more color separation, it still looks nice out of the box. It all feels good, the plastic is super high quality, and what you get really does look like a prototype wing Gundam, which is awesome. When you combine it all together, it does become extremely over the top, and kind of in a cool way. Personally, myself, I'm gonna stick with the high mobility unit because I love it, but once again, it's awesome to have some options. I'm not going to give this a tier ranking because it is just an option set, but if you are thinking of getting one for yourself, there is a link down there in the description. Anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews, and I'll see you next time.